Hey guys, Dalen here, and welcome to this video. So this is my complete guide on the Memories, the new mini quest that has basically just come out. So basically in this guide, I'll just be going over the requirements, the objectives, the rewards, and the different routes to get to each different memory. Um, and I'll also be showing, um, you know, talking about just some different ways that I've completed this. So um, do keep in mind that I have completed this, so I will not be able to show you like me actually like getting the memories or whatnot, but I will just tell you, walk you through what to do so also check the annotations in the description if you want to skip to a specific part like if you know how to do th like basically what the idea is but all you want to do is watch a specific uh, pl w place to get I will put all of those in annotations in the description okay so as you can see on screen now are the recommended items and the requirements for uh, to do this mini quest so basically what is required what you have to have is 60 divination you also have to have insulated boots and a macaw pouch um, and on the left of side of the screen you'll see all the different quests you have to do um, I may have missed a couple because it is actually a very 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 lengthy uh, list of quests however I tried to just cut it down to the quests that you would have to do in order to grab all of them um, so you have to do Koshi's Troubles, Ritual of the Majorat, Wolf Whistle, Hazel Cult, Rocking Out, The Slug Menace, A Tale of Two Cats, The Temple at Sentiston, Wild Guthic Sleeps, and Blood Runs Deep. So those are the big major quests you have to finish. There are obviously other requirements to have finished those quests on top of that. Um, I could have listed out the entire all of them, but that would have literally taken an entire slide just to um, put all of that information into one slide. And I just so basically I just tried to cut out all of the little mini quests like priest in peril and those kinds of things, um, and put put it down to the basics that you need to have completed. And on the right side of your screen, you'll see some very helpful recommended items that will help you to get to each of the different places faster. Um, there are a few other alternatives that I didn't put in here. However, for the most part, these are the things that you're going to want. Um, the Lodestone Network, Fremenix, the Fremenix region is very, very helpful. Um, but alternatively, you can, if you have completed Love Story Quest, you can also... Um, or if your house is in Relica, you can um, use house teleport tabs to get there. A camulet or cramulet to uh, teleport to um, the, uh, one of the places. A pharaoh scepter, a uh, ring of kinship, Ardoin cloak, or however you say Ardoin, whatever. Um, Trollheim teleport method, uh, you can use the Trollheim teleport spell. The, I think there's a lunar spell, it, or you can use tele house teleport tabs that are modified. You need to have access to the fairy rings, however, by completing all those quests that you see on the left, you will have access to those, so don't worry about it. A dig site pendant is helpful, however, uh, alternatively, you can also use spirit trees, which I am going to assume if you most likely can do this, you probably have access to those. Um, the invitation box from the missing presumed death quest, if you have lost that, you can just go to the person that you got it from and reclaim it, um, and you also and also it would be helpful to have a desert amulet 2 or higher. So those are just the recommended items and whatnot. So anyways, y you know, you can substitute things. And if you have a different way of getting there, that's entirely fine. However, those are just the things that I happen to use on the uh, quest. And now comes the objective. So this is the basic overview of what you're going to be doing. Once again, I will show you later in the uh, in the guide, you know, mo go a little bit more in depth and help you a little bit more to start out. But base the basic objective is you're going to be gathering 15 me memories for Karshai during using divination. 500 memories are required to charge the M M Engrameter. I have no idea actually how to say that, but that, that's my best guess. Emgrameter, which is an item that you will receive during the quest. I will show you that because um, I do have that. Uh, you need to. You can only use vibrant or above memories only. So, but with sixty divination, obviously the, that's the uh, memories that you can harvest. I would honestly recommend harvesting the highest tier that you can if you are fairly far into that level if you're not if you've only just reached um a, a spot perhaps me uh going to a lower spot would be fat would be better because it might be faster i'm not entirely sure of the gathering rate of divination but just basically where you think that you gather would gather memories the fastest why I say that you should probably do it the highest tier possible is that if you're not 99, you'll be getting XP. Um, you'll basically just be forcing you to train for 
honestly around six hours anyways so you might as well get the best experience plus you make the most amount of money possible from the energy so after recharging your emgrim meter seek out each module at memory which i will be showing the location of all of them later in this video you must return to karshai after each memory is found uh, that is really the one of the bi the most annoying things you have to return to him, but you know it's not too big of a deal. A total of seven thousand five hundred memories must be gathered, and totaling about six and a half hours or so gathering memories, just total. And then the quest, it, the mini quest itself, can total around seven to eight hours. It does take a very long time, which is why I think a lot of people most likely are kind of a little frustrated and annoyed with it. It's just because this does take a long time and it does take patience to complete. However, you know, divination is one of those skills, just like it's annoying. And you do get a decent amount of uh, divination experience for your troubles to do this. I honestly think it's worth it, especially if you plan on doing the Fate of the Gods quest. Um, most likely the Engrameter will be helpful during the quest. I don't obviously know how helpful, but I think honestly probably be worth it to do it and if you're not 99 divination already you know the xp is definitely worth it so finally we come to the rewards you will gather from this quest so you're going to be getting a total of 525k divination experience 375k of that for returning all 15 memories you get 25k experience i think for each memory that you return to him so totaling a 375k plus you get 150k bonus experience in the skill so in total, after you use all that up, that would be 300k that you would have gathered um, in terms of um, using up all your bonus experience. You get a tiny Lucian pet, which I actually find very cute. I actually really like it. Um, Dr. N Nabonik's Old Trilby Cosmetic Override is just a hat. It kind of looks a little bit like a Cavalier. You get two titles, the Pontifex and the Legatus. Uh, they're both purple and they go before your name. And then you also get the Emgrameter, which can be useful in the Fernaske region, which is going to be featured in the upcoming quest, Fate of the Gods. So that's basically it in terms of just basic information you need to know before I actually start, like, filming things. So anyways, I will um, show basics and whatnot and then I will go into locations, and then I'll go into probably some tips and things, and that should be the guide. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this guide. Okay, so I know this video is going to be extremely long, probably much longer than it really needs to be, but I really want to go in depth. So um, basically, to start off this mini quest, I'm going to skim over a couple of things, but um, to start the mini quest, just go to the Fremenic region however you want, um, Lodestone or House Teleports if your house is in, um, Relica, and just, uh, run into this area, um, and run, uh, south to where, um, Karshai is. So, once you talk to him, he will give you this Eng Emgrimator here, um, when you talk to him about Majorat Memories. So once you have an, this Emgrimator, all you need to do is go to the, um, Go to any any divination area that gives you vibrant or higher memories and just keep siphoning off with, um, springs. And once your inventory is full of memories, just click recharge Emgrimator and it'll, um, basically it'll eat up your memories. So just, uh, talk to Karshai and say you want to talk about Maldorat memories and, um, that's all you need to do. So you need to do this every single time after you find each memory. You need to come back to Karshai and turn it in and then you need to go back to your divination spot and recharge your Emgrimator. Like I said, it takes 500 memories, uh, to charge up your Emgrimator and then you need to go and find a memory, come back, um, to Karshai, turn it in, and then go back to your divination spot and just keep repeating that 15 different times. It's very, very, like, in-depth and really annoying, but, you know, at the end of the day, probably worth it. You know, you might as well just, uh, do it. You get some pretty good experience. The Emgrimator will help during Fate of the Gods if you're gonna be w looking for that, so. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna get right on to, um, showing you guys all the different routes. Okay, so the first um, memory that I will be putting in here will be Akthanikos. I think it's how you pronounce his name. I, I am entirely sorry if I butcher any of the Majorat's names. They are a little bit difficult. So I have a Karimulet. There's different ways you can also get there. You can use the Desert uh, Teleport. But if you have a Karimulet or Camulet, it's easiest. You just rub it and it uh, teleports to Anacra's Temple. Um, it'll teleport you right outside uh, the secret entrance. So, so basically just go down the entrance, go down the ladder, 
and you'll be here. And now you just go down this corridor here um, to the west, then open the door. <laughs> Climb up this ladder in the middle of this room. And then you'll see the this magical barrier. Just pass through the magical barrier, and then you'll be going climbing up the ladder at the very end of the corridor here. Um, once you climb up that ladder, <clears throat> you'll be here, which um, you'll see this room with um, Lazim in it. Then you just go to the very end of the room, climb over this pile of bones, and climb down this ladder. And then once you're here, you will be clicking on your Emgrimator. Obviously, since mine isn't charged I, and I've already collected the memory, I can't do it here. But all you do is, when your Emgrimator is blue, just click on it and um, in this area here, and it will give you a memory. And after you've gotten that memory, you need to teleport back to Karshai and give him the memory. And then you need to go back to your divination spot and recharge your Emgrimator and repeat that process. So for the rest of the guide, I'll just show you the different areas and the different um, methods to get to the areas however I don't I'm not gonna obviously repeat just um, going back to recharge it because you need to go and recharge it every single time so next up is as and basically the easiest way to do this if you don't have a Pharaoh's t scepter if you do you can teleport directly to the to the temple but if you don't just go um, to the bandit teleport the bandit lodestone and just run directly south like this is still a very quick method obviously it's not as fast as having a scepter of the gods or a Pharaoh scepter but in my opinion it's um it's just as easy honestly um, and you don't use up a charge I suppose so just um run to the back as if you're going to go change your mat to ancient magics um, just go into this tunnel and then once you're in here all you have to do is click on your emgrimator and you'll have a memory in your inventory and then once again return to Karshai Okay, so obviously Bill Rack is going to be one of the easiest. All you need to do is um, get your Ring of Kinship out and teleport to Daemonheim. And as soon as you're there, all you need to do is just run into the building. And you can click your Emgrimator there and you'll be able to grab your memory. So just run up the stairs as if you were going to go do a Dungeoneering floor. Just run into the middle of the room. It doesn't really matter where you stand, but um, just uh, stand around here. And click on your Emgrimator and you'll be able to get Bill Rack's memory. And that's really all there is to it. Bill Rack is honestly one of the easiest ones to do. Okay, so next up is Anakra. Uh, Anakra is actually very easy as well. You just need to use your Cramulet or your Camulet to teleport to um, her secret or Anakra's secret temple or run here from the desert um, lodestone and climb down the secret entrance. And um, once you climb back down, you can just uh, click on your Emgrimator right next to this fallen statue and you'll be able to get Anakra's memory. So it doesn't matter in what order. So if you want to get Anakra's memory before um, Ak Thanicus, um you can, to you can totally do that. It does not matter in what order. I'm simply going in alphabetical order. However, it does not matter what order you get them in as long as you just get all 15. Okay, so next up is Hazel, and his area is in Ardone. If you have an Ardone cloak, that will be the best teleport there. However, you can also use the Lodestone, but I will be using the Ardone cloak. So just teleport to the monastery south of Ardone. I think you can do that with an Ardone cloak 4 or 3. I think possibly 2. I'm not entirely positive. I don't really even remember. Um, but just get to Ardone somehow. And once you once you hear the entrance to the sewer is right by the clock tower. So just run basically south, and you'll see this uh, cave entrance right next to the um, clock tower here. So just um, head down the cave entrance and you'll see this raft, just board this raft. Um, you'll come up on uh, over, over here and uh, just run to the end in here with all these Hazel cultists and just click on your Emgrimator here and you'll be able to get Hazel's memory. So, And then you go obviously go back to Karshai.
Okay, so next up is Jalen. I also, once again, apologize if I pronounce pronounce that incorrectly. Um, so just go to the Fremenic region again and um, head north of the Lodestone and just climb up here. And you'll see this cave here and just go into the cave entrance. I think this is where ice strike worms are as well, if I remember correctly. Um, head west and uh, go into this cave opening right here on the north wall. And once you crawl through here, you'll see a um, floating bridge. So just cross your floating bridge. And once you get to this little middle island thing here, just click your emgramator and you'll be able to get uh, Jalen's memory. And then you go back to Karshai. So next up is actually Karshai himself. So I will obviously, I guess I'll retrace my steps in case you have forgotten where he is. Um, I can't see why you would since you have to go back to him every single time. But that's all you have to do is literally just go back to Karshai. I honestly saved this one for last just because um, it was convenient. And so um, when I was finished with it, I could just, uh, you know, go to Karshai, turn into the memory and just you straight off and get the rewards however like i said it does not matter in what order you get them it just um if you want to do easiest to hardest that's fine if you want to do alphabetical if you want to do hardest to easiest or if you just want to go in some random order it doesn't really matter um just as long as you get all 15 and in the in your chat box it will show you how many you've gotten um as you turn them in so obviously just go to Karshai, just stand right next to him click your emgramator and you will get a memory from it you just turn it into him So next up is Lamistard, who is um, at Trollwis. So basically, um, go to teleport to Trollheim, however you plan on doing so, and then go down the cliff sides on the west side. So not like you're going to God Wars Dungeon, but if you're going to like the Trollheim um, farming patch, do uh, climb down those cliff sides. And uh, once you climb those cl down those cliff sides, you'll be heading uh, directly north up the path. Just uh real quick here um this can take doesn't take that long um so okay so just run north up this path here and then you'll see a split off to the northwest um take that path all the way up and just follow it and then you'll come to a very large icy gate, which I believe is a desert treasure thing. I'm not entirely positive. It's been a, such a long time since I've done those quests. But you'll come to the ice gate here. Do not go through the ice gate. Go through this um, dungeon right here. Just go through the cave entrance. Um, these monsters will attack you. They are aggressive. However, they really don't hit too much, um, especially if you have, like, 99 defense or something. I'm really not... I'm wearing, like, literally no armor, and they only hit, like, 100, so it's literally not that much. So just go through, um, just run through this area all the way. Like I said, they don't hit too much. If you want to bring food to be safe, you can go ahead and do that. However, like I said, it doesn't really, um, require food or anything. Just, um, head through this crevice as you can see here, and then um, run to the east, um, and you'll see a cave entrance, and you go through that cave entrance, and in this area is where you um, click your engramator, and you'll get the re you'll get your memory, and then you go back to Karshai. Okay, so next up is Lucian. Um, he's very, very easy as well. Just teleport to Edgeville somehow, either by fairy rings or lodestone, or you can even teleport to Varrock and get there, get to Edgeville from there. Um, but you'll basically be going to Lucian's house, um, just cross the, the bridge here, and um, the fairy ring is right there if you choose to use a fairy ring. Um, and his house is actually right here. So just um, open the door, go inside his house, and uh, click on your emgramator, and you'll be able to get Lucian's memory from here. Um, very easy. So, and then um, just go back to Karshai again.
Okay, so next up is Mizark, and the easiest way to get to him, since he is at Sentiston, would to be use a dig site pendant, and however, since I'm on Lunars, I did not actually have have one, and I really didn't want to go through the effort to change, uh, to go change. However, if you can um, get a dig site pendant, go ahead and use that, that is pretty much the fastest way to get there, however, if you don't, um, you can also use the gnome gliders, so just, uh, you can get access to a fairy, uh, a spirit tree, you go to the gnome stronghold. This is, keep in mind that this is actually, this is the way I did it, however, it is a lot longer, and I am not saying that is the most efficient way. Definitely the dig site pendant, um, will save you a lot of time, um, however, I just didn't really have one, and I couldn't really be bothered to go make one, so I just, uh, decided to take the longer route, so, um, but if you choose to do this, you know, um, that's totally fine too, you know, it, it works, and it doesn't really matter how you get to each area, so, just go up to the top of the grand tree, or not, yeah, is it the grand tree? I don't remember. But just anyway, go up to the top. Um, and once you're up top, you go to the gnome, Captain Erdo, and go to Lem Lamanto and Andra, that, the uh, big fortress area. Um, and it'll deposit you right at the dig site. So um, once you arrive at the dig site, you just go back to your the winch as if you were going to go change from prayers to curses. Um, and just head down, down into the temple, and just go over by the altar of Zeros, and that's where you can use your Emgrimator to get your memory. So, it's kind of interesting, as an address here, but you don't actually get as an address memory here, I think that's kind of interesting, but, you know, oh well. So, after you get your memory, just go back to Karshai, and then go back to recharge your Emgrimator. Okay, next up is Paul Korea, and I don't think I actually mentioned this in the teleports area, but if you have a Taco Zoe, that's also very helpful as um, it provides fast access to fairy rings. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that, but if you have one, it's helpful. Um, just go to your fairy ring and um, go to the Glacier's Cave um, one, which is code DKQ. Teleport there. And, uh, okay. And once you get to the Glacier's Cave, go north. Um, don't obviously go and kill Glacers, but, um, go ahead and go north and go and leave through the exit. This is actually a lot easier to get to this region, obviously, because it doesn't, um, you don't have to trek through the wilderness or anything. So once you're out here, um, just head northwest, um, up until you see the ritual marker here, and you just use your Emgrimator here, and you'll be able to get that memory, um, what's his name? Paul Korea, or whoever he is. So just, uh, use your Emgrimator here, and you'll get his memory. Okay, so next up is Ravish, who is actually in a very, very similar area to, um, Pelker, uh, uh, what's his, what's his face, Pelkaria, or whoever he is, um, Palkira, Palkira, I think I've been saying that name wrong, Palkira, um, so just go back, um, to DKQ, the fairy ring teleport, um, to the Glacier Cave, just go back there, once again, leave through the same exit, <clears throat> up north, as soon as the Stone of Jazz wears off, um, leave through your exit but instead of going northwest just head straight north just head straight north instead so just um don't go up to your, the ritual just go um sh just head uh, head north um and once you cross this snowy snowy region uh you'll see here um a big big wall and um our our av is right here just go through this tunnel here um which will get you into this area climb over jump over the pillar um, and then head into the castle, and here is where you're going to be clicking on your Emgrimator to get the memory for, um, Ralvish. Okay, next up is Sliske, and uh, you need your invitation box. If you have, uh, if you need it back, just go back to Brother Samuel and he'll give it to you. So just open your invitation box and, um, uh, teleport to the Citadel. Um, once you're there, just run, run north into his, um, run past, uh, the Statue of Death, um, into his, uh, chamber room where all the gods had, uh, gathered, um, and just use your Emgrimator here, and then you'll have that memory. Okay. 
Okay, next up is Wahisatel, and it's very, it'll be very helpful for you to have a desert amulet. So just uh, teleport to Narda. If you don't have the desert amulet, you can either use the bandit teleport or the lodestone, which I wouldn't really recommend. Um, it would be easier just to go to Alcarade and uh, get a carpet up here. But anyways, so just uh, run northwest here into this house right here. And once you're in this house, uh, just use your Imgermator here and you'll get Wahisatel's memory. Okay, so last up is Zimorgul, and I'd honestly have to say that he is the most difficult one to find. This is where you're going to need your insulated boots and your macaw pouch. Um... It's not, and it's not d really difficult per se, it just take, in my opinion, takes the longest amount of time to complete. So just go up the stairs um, here and talk to Hartwin and uh, teleport to Zimorgul's base. Um, it says that you're in the, like it says, it, it talks about PK skulls, but you're not really actually in the wilderness, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so just go down the trap door. You may want to bring a couple pieces of food because you may get a l slightly damaged. It shouldn't be that bad at all, but if you want, if you just want to be safe, um, just anyways, follow, the, follow, um, the corridor down all the way, um, just keep going through doors. Um, you can summon your macaw pouch whenever it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you do it before you need to use it. Um, so like I said, just keep opening doors. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just ignore the skeleton, the armored zombies. They don't really, they honestly don't hit that much. Um, I mean, I'm not wearing any armor pretty much at all and they barely hit anything. Um, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Uh, and once you open this metal door here, I, I'm pretty sure this is the last one, yeah. So, um, this is the, the last door you'll need to open past the uh, ar armored zombies. And you'll come to this little fork in the road here. Obviously, there's human detection spells here, so you do not want to go down that. Um, instead, go into this, little, what looks like a little pantry area, and enter this pipe. Um, just, uh, squeeze through the pipe. And this is where you need your insulated boots, because the floor is basically booby trapped with electricity so make sure you're wearing your insulated boots for this part um so just uh run past all this electricity business um and there is another pipe which um if you try and enter it uh it'll say that you need some way to remotely see if there are any patrolling zombies at the other end of this pipe i don't want to set the alarm off so that's when you interact with your macaw use your remote view um, and it will, and you'll get a cutscene that looks basically like this one. You wait until the patrolling zombies have moved away until the other end of the pipe. And once that's finished, um, you'll, uh, automatically just go through and you climb through the pipe. So automatically go through. And so once you're standing here, just go to this room to the south, um, and you use your emgrimator here. And there's your last memory, if you've been doing it alphabetically, at least. So, th and then you just go back to Karshai and uh, get your rewards. Okay, guys, so just for a little bit of wrap-up, you know, like I said, this mini quest will take you a good seven to eight hours. It will take you a long time. Maybe it'll be a good idea for you to maybe do, like, three or four memories a day, maybe even less if you just don't like doing this. However, I do think at the end of the day, it will probably be worth it, if not for the Emgrimator help in the fate of the gods than at least the divination experience like divination is extremely slow i can attest to that so it's extremely slow you know you might as well get as much extra divination experience as possible and that 375k it's, it's not like it scales with your level it's a flat it's like it's just a flat rate or a flat amount of experience you're gonna get so at any level you know it'll be very helpful so anyways i enjoy doing this and also, if you didn't already know, every time you turn in a memory, you'll get a book of the memory that um, Karshai gives you. You can read those if you want. You can also destroy them. I destroyed all of them on when I first got them. However, they are reobtainable through a player-owned bookshelf in your player-owned house. So if you do want to go back and read through those, you definitely can if you want to just get rid of them if you're going for 
um, like I did, just go for the straight grind. So, anyways, there is a bunch of lore that is involved with this. You know, it brings a lot of lore into the game. So, if you're into lore, you may like this as well. Um, but I think, honestly, at least the divination experience is worth it. So, I hope you guys learned something throughout this guide. You know, I actually did put a lot of effort into this. You know, I put a lot of time and effort into this. So, if you want to, um, if this did help you, you know, go ahead, give it a thumbs up or whatever. I, you know, you guys know I don't really ver mind it very much. You know, it would, it would help, but, um... I'm not going to get, like, super mad if people don't do it. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.